paid 40, took an offer of 900 to an international buyer. Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for big profits. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So if you go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and you go to the announcements slash featured section, you are going to see a post that says, share your best January bolo. And I would love for you guys to come on over and share a bolo to be featured in a video just like this. If you share your eBay store or YouTube channel in your comment, I will shout it out in the video. So let's get started here with the first big money bolo. It is an asteroid glass vase Jan Dros design for Zabkwasi. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. Glassworks in Poland. It's from 1975. She said, I paid $8 at a yard sale, listed for $159, took a best offer for $125 plus shipping. So would you have picked it up or walked right past it? I'm looking to see if there's anything on it that shows a um, identification of Jan Drost, and I don't see anything. So maybe Google Lens search. If you guys don't know how to use Google Lens, I do have a video on that. Just type Bolo Buddies Google Lens into the search bar and it will pull that up. It will save you time after time after time at those yard sales. All right, this one is a original spray ground SpongeBob SquarePants backpack uh, it's an looks like a Japan anime. Japan anime is is that a word? Uh, an anime from Japan, maybe limited edition. And it says paid a dollar or two at the bins. Goodwill bins, guys. By weight, listed for one hundred and fifteen. Lot of likes. Then took a best offer of eighty. Spray ground is on her bolo list. So let's see what it looks like. It looks pretty funny on that fancy. Uh, mannequin, right? <laughs> there you go. There's the tags that you need to look for. And she did a good job of disclosing all the defects, which is important. And that is a great bolo. All right. This next one is fun. This one sold on Mercari. And one thing you can do when you have a lot of something and you don't want to list items individually, either because the value is not there or just because you would make more money selling in a bundle, this is what you can do. It says Hershey's Chocolate Wooden Kurt Adler Ornaments, Lot of 40, from 1989 to 2009. It says found at a local thrift store, picked up for 20 bucks, listed for 150 and took a best offer of $142 on Mercari. Store name is RGRVS 820. Sell mostly stuffed animals. So they may not be an ornament seller. They focus on plush and just lotted these up, which somebody may have got a great deal. I have no idea. I've never seen these before. So you might want to comp them out. A reseller may have bought them to part out. Who knows? I don't know. The next one here. Oh, and you guys, if you're not selling on Mercari, it's a great platform. Uh, I do have a referral link down below where you can get $10 to shop if you join with it and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. These are vintage yellow grapefruit bowls, set of two matching serrated spoons, Japan. So that means they've got the little edge on them, which is great for uh, fruit, little fruit spoons. She said, I bought these two grapefruit bowls and four matching spoons, all for $2 at the Goodwill. I listed the two bowls and two spoons, and they sold the very next day for full asking price of $32. My eBay store is Marsha's Must Haves. Cute name. And look at her little uh, circle here. It kind of goes with these bowls very well. All right. Cooking with Poo special book club edition by Marlene Brown. So it is a little cookbook, it looks like. Yummy Tummy Cookie Cutter Treats. How many of you would have walked right past this little book? She said, picked 
this book up randomly at the Goodwill and scanned it for sold comps, probably because it was Winnie the Pooh, but did not have high hopes. I was very surprised to find great sold comps. Bought it for 59 cents and sold about two weeks for full asking price of 4287. You guys, look how thin it is. 4287. That is awesome. The book originally came with cookie cutters and it if found with those could be worth even more. But not too shabby for a random find. Also, perhaps the name of the book, Cooking with Poo, might be a reason for it being so sought after. <laughs> Well, I didn't think of that. Uh, my shop is random or randoporium selling all things random. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, the next one. 2017 Hasbro, Hasbro, Baby Alive, Real As Can Be Doll, Soft Face Expression Works. And I believe this is the one that Dad Planet was telling me about that is a big money bolo that I have never found. It has um, this, uh, I think it has a soft body. Do they all, I don't think they all have soft bodies. But anyway, they paid $4 at a local church thrift, listed for $149.99, took a best offer of $113 for a quick pre-Christmas sale. This one does not have clothes or accessories. If they have the clothing, they sell for even more. So sold for 113 eBay store trios treasures, baby alive with this. It's the soft face. So I don't know what soft, maybe it's the soft face is what he had said. I can't remember. I know dad planet told me about it. If you guys are not following dad planet, definitely check him out. But look, scuffy on the face, not in great, great condition and still sold for that much money. Be on the lookout, right? Wow. Very unexpected. I got this in a buyout for $1.50. I took a best offer of $40 because I knew I priced it high. eBay store Vintage Spice, and she is also Vintage Spice on YouTube, and she has really awesome what sold videos, so check her out. It is a 2008 Fisher-Price Nick Jr. Wow Wow Wubsy Walden plush toy stuffed animal, 8 inches. Hard to find. And she took a best offer of 40 on that guy. Get you guys a maybe picture of the tag, perhaps. Nope, no tag picture. All right. I mean, you can see it here. The next one, Vintage J.C. Whitney and Company Automotive Accessories Parts Catalog, 1957 cars, 1950s. She said, I got this in an ephemera buyout. I have a couple cents into it. It sold for the full sale price of $73.59. This also comes from Vintage Spice. So it's an old catalog, guys. Old catalog, $73.59. That is awesome. Vintage Corduroy Detroit Pistons Sports Specialty Script Hat, the Cord NBA. And it's a corduroy hat. You can see it's a little dirty, not perfect. There's your inside. She said, bought this corduroy Detroit Pistons hat at a yard sale for a dollar and sold it for 75. It took about a month to sell. Well, that is a great bolo right there. The next one. It says uh, vintage. I love these. I love these. I love these. Vintage wooden Santa sliding down chimney. Joe O toy question mark. They don't even know what it is. They do have a video. I am kind of curious. Let's see if we can play the video. Oh, wow. That is funny. Um, yeah, including a video is sometimes pretty cool. Look at these photos. It's just an old vintage toy. Oh, there it goes again. All right. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Let's go back. All right. So um, let's see what she wrote about it. I was checking out if I had listed everything for Christmas. Then I remembered that I forgot something. This sliding Santa came in a box that I got in an auction in the beginning of the year. I listed him on December 18th and it sold the very next day. The total I paid for the box was $2, but it was full of things. So maybe this little guy cost a few cents. It was sold for $50. I was not expecting to sell it for this Christmas. Wow. So sold fast. All right. If you don't know about this one, definitely be on the lookout. It's a vintage 
tree, 5.5 foot, 107 branches, aluminum Christmas tree with stand. So here it is. And I don't even think they put it together. These are definitely a bolo. Now, if you find one that doesn't have all of the branches, you can sell the branches individually. You can part it out. She said, I found an unadvertised barn sale in the rain at almost noon. This was in the back room, paid $5, sold for $250 plus shipping in less than eight days. This one was sold by Thrifted Spirit. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? This is also a barn sale find. She found it for a dollar, sold full price plus shipping in five days. What is this little thing? It is PHB, two peas in a pod, porcelain trinket box, Midwest of Cannon Falls. How cute is that? $40. Would you have thought this was a $40 little uh, item? Look at the little peas. It's so cute. All right. The next item is this vintage Speedo women's abstract purple ocean. Oh, I'm sorry. Open back high cut swimsuit. All right. I think I used to wear Speedos like this when I was a kid. And I may have had this very, very one. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. But there was a time when I wore these. This like brings back memories. Anybody else wear Speedos when they were a kid? <laughs> oh my goodness. The original box. How cool. She said, I source six of these on eBay. Three in size. Wait, three. Oh, hold on. Three in this size. Okay, three in this size, which is a 30. And three in another size, all new in the box. After shipping, she paid 20 each. Received full asking price of $79.99 for one. I am only listing one at a time per size as to not flood eBay. Vintage made in the USA Speedo. Men's and women's swimsuits are always a bolo. My store name is Red Willow Farms. An assortment of new and gently used and vintage items. Okay. So she sourced it on eBay for $20 and flipped it for $80 or $79.99 plus shipping. Bolo. And yeah, talk about sourcing on other platforms. Here is a vintage Motorola Dyna TAC 8000 series. It is a brick cell phone. And I think this might have been in my plush Bolo video that I released not long ago. It was under the wrong one. So they must have figured out where to put it. But it's so good. I'm going to share it again. Found this at an estate sale in a back bedroom. I don't think anyone else even looked in the box because I knew what I had when I saw it. Paid only $10 and was excited when I got it home and charged it because it powered right up. It looks like it sold for $499.99 with one bid and the buyer paid shipping. That is fantastic. Let's see what the box looks like. Oh, so it may. Oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. It looks brand new. Okay, maybe not. It had a scuff. But still. Wow, how cool. I'm telling you, people will buy anything. Store name, Lightspeed Collectibles. All right, store is the dog patch picture. Picker, dog patch picker. While I'm no expert, I'm beginning to learn nonfiction books can be a good bolo, especially if they are lower print numbers and out of print or specialized interest. I got this one as part of a bulk purchase at an estate sale. I paid 60 for a bag of stuff, so I'm probably into it for under five. It sold for $49.93. It is a Ramsey of Swan Pond, the descendants of William Ramsey, historical detectorist. There you go. I would have walked right past it. Books are just not my thing. I know that um, books can sell for big money and definitely be on the lookout because... Yeah, they can be a bolo. I mean, that cookbook. Wow. All right. This one comes from Picker Money Flipper. She said, this is my bolo. Paid $5 at a yard sale and sold for 170 plus shipping. Wow. Look at all of the characters. Everybody in the whole world has seen this movie. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Island of Misfit Toys, 46 pieces vintage. That is awesome. Sold it for $170. I cannot believe she got this for $5 at a yard sale. How many of you would have got it and wanted to keep it just because it brings back memories? <laughs> I bet about half of you. That is adorable. I would have sold it. 2000, from the year 2000. 
Here we go. Look at this. This is a jelly cat. London feral black fly insect bug. Eight inches. He is cuteness. I've never seen this one. Jelly cat is a great item to pick up. Uh, if you don't know about jelly cats, check out Bolo Buddies Jelly Cat on YouTube. Search that and you'll see some big money jelly cat bolos. I found this at my favorite Goodwill bins, paid approximately 25 cents, and it sold in two weeks for $42. Shipped internationally to Germany, this one comes from Nettie's Notions. Here is a fun one, and this sold on Mercari. It is, uh, it says, bought this in a bag. I'm sorry, bought this in a big thrift store bag of toys. The whole bag was $3.00 was surprised by the comp sold after a couple of months for asking of 25 um ebay store Corey's second hand treasures but this one sold on mercari it is a rare bowdy's basics arts and crafters sock puppet minifigure have you ever seen such a thing what on earth wow 25 dollars plus shipping for that the next item is this Mercedes-Benz steering wheel. Yeah, I probably would have picked that up. Paid 40 great deal, at a private buyout listed for auction starting at 500 with a buy it now of 999 Took an offer of 900 to an international buyer. This one comes from Hibbs Hunts Vintage. All of my finds are first shared on Instagram under the same name. Ah. There you go. I always wonder how people sell on Instagram. So I guess they maybe post it there. And then if they don't get any bites, put it on a platform. Um, if you guys sell on Instagram, let me know how you guys do that. It might help somebody in um, that has a big Instagram following. But if they have a big Instagram following, they're probably already doing it. I know a lot of people will say, um, this is my item available in my eBay store. And then they will put it uh, a clickable link up in the profile section. So sold for $900. That's incredible. Dip it. What is this? This looks like a vintage uh, new old stock item, which I love. Super fun. New old stock vintage dip it coffee pot disdainer cleaner discontinued cookware. <laughs> and look at that. That could have been purchased maybe for a movie prop. That is in really beautiful condition. Look at the front of that. I purchased it at a, this at a church rummage sale for 25 cents. This comes from E. James Emporium. Sold it for $30. I think it sold already. The next item is this Smurfs 1000 piece puzzle. And I don't know. Let's see. Is it brand new or is it pre-owned? Does it say? Oh, it's pre-owned. So, my, oh, they put it together. I was just going to say, I wonder how they knew all the pieces were there. So do you guys take the time to put together puzzles? How much does it need to go for for you to put it together? <laughs> I mean, this is a thousand piece puzzle. You got some time in that. Paid $3, sold for $49.99 plus shipping, bought at a local Christian thrift store, eBay name, Minnesota Thrifting. It looks like it sold for $49.99. This is a Hello Kitty LCD TV with remote from 2012. Spectra Pink 19-inch Rare Sanrio. Anything Sanrio, look it up. Even if it's not Hello Kitty and it's Sanrio, look it up. But this is a TV. Paid $5 and replaced the screen for $15. Oh, wow. So you got to have a little knowledge there if you're replacing screens. Sold for $199 plus shipping, 30, uh, plus $32.99 shipping. Bought the TV at a tag sale and the screen from eBay. Minnesota thrifting again. But I will tell you, even if they would have got this home and the TV didn't work and they did not want to replace the screen, they could have sold it it for replacement parts and also sold the remote as a replacement part. And I bet you they would have done pretty, pretty well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Please go over to the Facebook group. Over a hundred thousand members. People are sharing their bolos 
it is a reseller group. So you're going to learn a lot about reselling on multiple platforms in the Facebook group. But these share posts are fun. I create videos where you guys can share your bolos and get a shout out. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.